Hello YouTube, this is the one man outside here. And today I'm going to be showing you how to make like this realistic look and feeling to um, an object. It looks like it's kind of like got a glowing floor, even though I didn't make it glow. Um, and it's got like realistic reflections like it's a metal ball. Okay, so what we're going to do is open up Cinema 4D. I'm using R12, so it might be a little different than, it is a little different than the past version. So what you're going to do is make your floor, and your color, you're going to make everything all the way up to make it like where it's white, and put the brightness at 250. Sorry, I had a cold. Okay, so right now, that's what you got. You have a floor. So now let's make our sphere, and make the sphere go as close. Close to the ground, if I can get it to where it looks like it's actually sitting on the ground. That should look good. Yeah, you can't really tell there, but that looks fine. Okay, so I'm gonna choose my favorite color, which is red. And I'm gonna make the reflection a little less than I did in the picture I just showed you. I'm gonna make it 40. Now we're gonna see it's gonna like take up from the ground, and that's completely fine. That's that's fine because we're gonna make it look more realistic. As you can see, it does look fake. So what we're gonna do is go in here and make a plane. What I'm gonna do? Just drag it over here. Oh, right here I'd say. I'm gonna rotate it. So that looks fine. I'm gonna go back down here. Um, you wanna make another color, except for here, you don't wanna do any of that. All you wanna do is click on luminous and you're done. Luminance, I think. And drag that onto the plane. Now if you go into your render settings, go to effect global illumination. It will take more time to render out, like the picture that you saw on my desktop that took about 5 minutes and all it is is a picture. Okay, now you can see it looks more realistic, it's got like a shadow to it and it's uh, got the reflection and it, and it looks like it's really, it's real. So what I did in here is I went to my stoner object. Here and there. And you can do whatever you want with this. I'm just going to take all those and make a high count of them. I'll bring this down here. No, I'm just going to go ahead with the um, grid like I did. Remember to bring these back up. While you're doing this, you can just click on Sphere, go to Simulation, and go to Dynamics and Rigid Body. If you're on 11.5 or under, you can just um, uh, right click or secondary click and go to MoGraph uh, and then there should be um, rigid body on there okay, so what we're gonna do it does get a little laggy with the more that you have put quite a bit of space in between them
Okay, that is what I want right there. So what you'll see is it will take a while to render out. Okay, I did speed that up because it take that took me about three minutes. But look how nice it looks. You can see the reflection from all of them on each other. So you can see the closer ones and the ones that are farther away. And it just looks more realistic. If you want a little more of a shadow under here, you can go onto ambient occlusion, which will be under the effects. That'll be right. It'll, it should be at the top in the effects under this. Seems to click on it. It's not there. Though. But then if you render it, it will look like this. Also going to speed this up. Okay, as you can see, um, it doesn't look too much different, but it does give the reflections a little more of a shadow. As you can see from right here and here, it looks like they have more of a shadow there. But, I, I just think it looks really nice of how that is. In the next tutorial, I'll show you how to make, um, like a shadow effect kind of, you know, kind of like a shadow effect, but it will not take nearly as long to render, and you don't need to make all the different colors, all you need is a floor or a wall and your object and then a light and then I'll show you how to do that. Okay, this has been the one man outside. Thanks for watching my video. Please rate five stars and subscribe. Subscribing really helps me because I really want to uh, want people to notice what I do. So uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later.